In 1879, Thomas Edison invented the first successful incandescent electric light bulb, an invention that would bring electric light to millions around the world. But he needed a way to protect the fragile carbon filaments, so he commissioned Corning to make glass envelopes for his first bulbs. Our skilled glass workers made each bulb by hand, producing around two bulbs a minute. However, the bulbs were expensive and difficult to make. So we developed a machine that could produce more bulbs at a lower cost, make them affordable for most people, and give us an edge in the emerging competitive market. Thus, the e-machine was introduced in 1913. It was our first semi-automatic light bulb blowing machine, which made bulbs at the then rapid rate of seven bulbs a minute. The F machine followed shortly after, producing around 42 bulbs per minute. Together, these processes produced millions of light bulbs over the next decade. Still, the strong competitive market and rapidly growing demand spurred the race to develop a fully automated continuous process. In 1921, Corning organized a top secret development effort to produce what would become the famous ribbon machine. Based on an idea conceived by William J. Woods, a master glass blower who oversaw the startup of the Corning Wellsboro, Pennsylvania factory and the initial e-machines. Wood's concept was based on a continuous ribbon of molten glass being laid onto a conveyor belt that had holes in it. The glass would sag through the hole and become hollow before being blown into its final form within a synchronized chain of molds. Woods teamed with David E. Gray, a mechanical engineer from MIT and a chief engineer at Corning, to develop the idea, a machine that would realize the potential of full automation. While the E and F machines were designed to mimic the technique of glass blowers, Woods and Gray took a completely new approach. By merging theory and science and focusing on glass properties such as viscosity and temperature throughout the process, they designed a machine that worked with the glass instead of against it. By 1926, the ribbon machine was ready for production and operated at blazing speeds. Its 250 bulbs a minute production rate exceeded that of three light bulb factories. It instantly revolutionized how light bulbs were made and within a few years displaced all other light bulb forming. This life-changing innovation made light bulbs affordable for use in virtually every home around the world. By 1939, the ribbon machine was producing a thousand bulbs a minute and was even used to make Christmas ornaments during World War II when it became difficult to bring ornaments from Germany into the U.S. By the 1970s, the ribbon machine was so efficient that almost every light bulb in the world was made only by 15 ribbon machines located around the globe. Eventually, the ribbon machine would reach production speeds of 1,600 light bulbs a minute and would be used to make thermos liners, tumblers, flash bulbs, and many other glass objects. This is one of the last ribbon machines in the U.S. and has been preserved by the Corning Museum of Glass with help from employees at the Wellsboro facility, which closed in 2016. In 1983, the ribbon machine was recognized by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, an international historic mechanical engineering landmark, alongside the steam engine, the Model T automobile, the Wright Flyer, and many other world-changing inventions. Since then, Corning's continued to create life-changing innovations that transform industries and enhance people's lives.